Hi, this is Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe. I recently had a great opportunity to work with uh, just the nicest guy. Uh, his name is Jose Delgado Jr. and he is 53 years old and has lived his entire life without his left hand and uh, had the honor of being able to make a 3D printed prosthesis for him. And uh, he took a few minutes to, to talk to me about that, so I wanted to share that with you. My name is Jose Delgado Jr. I'm 53 years old. I was born without a left hand, that I'll show you. And I'm here at the Jeremy Simon's house and he's making me a, uh, not a robotic, but a 3D hand. Okay, so here we go. This is the finished cyborg beast in black. So that's the fully mechanical design. So you've had a chance to use this a little bit now in your work, and uh, has it been has it been useful? Yeah, it's useful for carrying boxes, like the tension, because this one doesn't really grab. If I grab some of this, it'll just fold out. But these are more getting more grip, and it won't let it go as much. Nice. Okay. So yeah, it's amazing that we're even comparing a you know fifty dollar device with a forty some thousand dollar yeah. device. But uh, that's great that it's been useful. This one I, I had for about three years, but the thing is, the three first fingers move grass, but the other two just, they're just not really for energy, just for, I guess, cosmetics or whatever. Yeah. But uh, at the, the other one, the 3D one, has all function of the, of the fingers, so I like that better. So you actually work in an environment that involves a lot of lifting and stuff. Yes. How has that been in terms of uh, using that versus not using one or using a different one? Yeah, when I use that one, I can pick up better box because the fingers are longer and straighter than this. So that, that makes it a lot better when it gets the fingers more out instead of curving. Okay, so then the fingers aren't actually having to carry the full weight of the box. Right, They're right. just kind of wrapping around it. Right, there. right. So it's not putting too much tension. Right. That's good, okay. And then just like when I bend my wrist, it'll just, I get enough grip on the bottom of the so box. So it's more like your palm is right. holding it than the right. fingers. Right. right, okay. And this one just stays solid, whatever it is. It's just, it's, it won't flex, it's just, just up to there, that's it. Okay. And so what else have you been able to try with the 3D printed hand? Have you, for example, do you use it like while driving? Can you hold I could do it driving too. I, I grab on there. Because this one, if, if I'm driving and I hit a bump or something, it might just go by itself and I have to try to adjust my muscle in there. Mm -hmm. Two muscles, I have to try to get close. But that 3D, I, I, as soon as I got my, my wrist bent, it just, just, it it just right hold on, just hold on. Okay. I'll let go on the side open my wrist so. So this is printed in ABS plastic, a uh, very common 3D printing material. Uh, the shininess is because it's been treated with that acetone uh, vapor to give it a nice surface finish. And uh, the rest of the materials are, are readily available. Just some hardware to assemble and some, some cords and uh, foam padding and Velcro, some other stuff like that. And I can use it for driving too. Yeah, so that grips the, the steering wheel yeah, okay, so yeah. you can, it's terrific. Yeah. Well, that's very cool. I'm, I'm very glad this one can put the signal on. Yeah. Terrific. If it's been quite tough. Oh yeah, that looks like it's good fit. Yeah. It won't let it go, so. Got, that's pretty good motion. You've got, you've got plenty of, of leverage on that, it looks like. Right. Like the bag or something like a grocery bag. Oh, sure. Anything with the handle right. or anything that you can grip on to. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you can carry grocery bags, you can use your steering wheel. So it's it's able to, to hold a, a good deal of, yeah. of re resistance there. You're able to pick up something with, with a little bit of weight. Yeah. That's as long as it's not too heavy. like Right. But, Pounds that whatever. sounds about right. That's about what I'd expect. Yeah, I saw somebody else mention about 20, 25 pounds. So it's the limit, so that's, that's great. And and I know you told me this, but the cost of that myoelectric was yeah, originally what? This was forty-two thousand dollars. Forty-two thousand. With and, everything. You know, we made this three D printed uh, cyborg piece for a total cost of I 
think just under fifty dollars. So that's that's really cool. Yeah.